Hi, this is Dan Kerbright, and in this technology tutorial, I'm going to talk about using Chrome profiles and how you can manage those to get the best performance out of using Google Chrome on your computer. So in Google Chrome, the first time you launch it, it will ask you to log into Chrome. And once you've done that, you've got access to all of your Google Apps information. You've got your drive, you can get to your email, your calendar, and any of those Google products that we have integrated as a district, you'll want to start off using your district Google account. Once you're signed in, you should see your name up here in the top right corner, and you can customize this as well as add more accounts so that you can be logged into more than one Google account at one time. This can be very helpful if you have more than one user on a computer or if you would like to be logged into your district Google account as well as your personal Google account at the same time on the same computer. Once you've got your first profile set up in Google Chrome, you can click on that name in the top right corner and click Switch Person. The screen that pops up is where you can add or manage the other Google accounts that are signed in to your computer. So if I wanted to switch over to a different account, I could do so. If I want to add another account, I can click Add Person and whatever I put here is what's going to show up in that top right little button. I'll click Save and a window will pop up for me to enter in the information. Now as I log in, it's going to ask me if I want to link the data to this account. I'll click that because I want all of my bookmarks and extensions and everything to come over with this account. And it's going to just tell me what, that I've now signed into Chrome and all the things that I can do there. I can click OK, got it. It's going to finish setting it up. And I now have access to all of those things under that account. If I minimize this window, I'll see that my other Google account is still active here and down at the bottom is that other account. Once I've created those accounts, I'm just going to close out really quickly, once I've created them I can quickly switch between them by right clicking on that button and here are all the available accounts that are not the one that I'm currently using. So if I want to jump over to that Danny account, I can click on that. It's going to bring it right up going to take the home pages that our students would see. Then I can use these windows separately and none of the information will get jumbled. If I close this one, I'm closing out of Danny's account and I'm back to my, my district account. If you have any questions about this, you can go ahead and email me. My email is dkirkbright at cdaschools.org. And if you're having trouble uh, logging in to your Google account, you can I uh, get somebody to send an email to accounts at cdaschools.org. Thanks. Have a great day.